हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज मी अमन कुमार एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द कोर्स सी लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस वट इज प्रोग्राम वट इज एप्लीकेशन एंड वट इज वट एंड प्रोजेक्ट वट इज अ प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम इज अ प्रसाइज सीक्वेंस ऑफ स्टेप्स टू सॉल्व अ पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम प्रसाइज मीन्स एक्जैक्ट सीक्वेंस मीन वट शुड बी फर्स्ट वट शुड बी सेकेंड एंड सो ऑन एंड देर शुड बी एनी प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व सपोज यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम टू फाइंड द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ अ नंबर What is the steps to find the factorial number number? Like if no, if you have to find factorial of five, what do you need to find? Five into four into three into two into one. So, what is program? Is a sequence of steps. Precise. Precise means exact. Exact. See, you have to write the exact sequence so that you should get your answer. It is not like you are getting error. Like if I have to find the factorial of five, I know the factorial of five is one twenty. But if if you are getting the wrong answer, means the steps are not. Precise. They are not exact. You have to write exact solution. You have to give the exact solution to the problem. Next is sequence. There should be some particular sequence. What should be followed? What should be first step? What should be second step? And so on. And there should be any problem to solve. Behind every program, the motive is to solve any problem. The next is application and project. What is an application? Application is the collection of programs. You have multiple programs, like program of subtraction, addition, multiplication, division. The collection of these are called called a program named as uh, an application named as calculator. Application is the collection of programs. Multiple programs combine to form an application. Similarly, multiple applications combine to form the project. You have multiple applications like application word processor, PowerPoint, Notepad, VLC. These are different applications. Combining these applications, you are getting a project. named operating system similarly you can consider a word processor the ms word as also a project it is containing the different applications like a project uh, like print application find application insert a image application paint application there are different applications so project is the collection of applications next is c is a we know c is the programming language first of all while going to c we should know what is the programming language and what is the language why language is used language is used like i am talking in english english is a language why english is using why it is used to convey any message or if i need to i i need uh, i have to convey message to someone or i want someone should do some work for me i have to convey message to him so that he can do the work so so the medium of conveying the message is the language similarly programming language is, is also a language it it is a medium so that we can convey our message but we can convey our messages to the computer in in english we can convey the message to some other person in hindi even jabi so on similarly in the programming language we can convey the message to computer like we we order the computer we give instructions to the computer so that computer can do some task for us what is our, every language has some vocabulary some grammar some rules like english has some rules every other language have some rules similarly programming language will also have some vocabulary some rules what is the programming language it is a vocabulary and set of instructions it is vocabulary and set of grammatical rules set of rules why these are used to instruct the computer to perform specific task it is a grammar so and rules so that we can instruct the computer to do some task for us every language has set of keywords every language has some reserved words Like there is a dictionary for English in which the meanings of the words are defined. Every meaning has its own, own every word has its own meaning, and we cannot change that meaning. Similarly, programming language has al is also have some words, and the meaning of that words are previously uh, defined, and we cannot change the meaning of that words. And special syntax. Every language has a syntax. Syntax are the rules which we follow. In English, what are the rules? Like, like when we are starting any paragraph, we leave some space, and uh, after every every sentence, sentence we uh, we put a full stop, and after uh, and each each alphabets of the new sentence is a capital. These are some rules. Similarly, like in Hindi, instead of full stop, we would we use uh, line. Similarly, uh, like these are the rules which we follow. Why why we follow these rules to place the statements. or organize the program instruction so we need to know what is the programming language vocabulary and set of grammatical rules to perform specific task each language has some uh, some unique keywords and some rules for that for organizing the instructions now 
introduction to C language. What is C language? C is a programming language. Why, why it is used? So that we can instruct the computer to perform some task. It is developed at AT&T Bell Labs of USA. It was developed in AT&T Bell Labs in USA in 1972. It was designed and written by a man named Dennis Ritchie. Dennis Ritchie was the scientist who designed, who was the main engineer behind this language. He was the main man between this language. The motive to develop this language was they have to develop the Unix operating system. For, un for developing the Unix, Unix operating system, they need some language. So they developed C language first. And then a year later, in 1973, they developed Unix operating system. So why the name C game? Why not Why not A or B? Why only C? Uh, in that time, in 1970s, the, uh, the B language was popular. B language was evolved from the BCPL. First there was the BCPL language. From BCPL language, there came the language B language. So the new language, name, they named the C language. It was designed for system programming. The, uh, why the language was designed to make Unix operating system and to do system programming. What is system programming? Like we have to develop op operating systems. You have to develop ut utility programs. What are the utility programs? The programs which are which are uh, used for the better productivity, like WordPad, Microsoft Office. All these are utility programs, compilers, and filters. These uh, C languages designed to make the system program for the system programming. Reasons to learn C. C language came in 1973. And till now, still we are using this language. After C language, many languages came like Java, C sharp, and F sharp, um, and more. But still, we are using the C language. What are the main reasons behind using the language? The main reason is its simplicity. It's very simple language, reliable, and easy to use and learn. We can easily use it and easily learn it. That's why till now we are using this language. Major part of operating system like Windows and Unix is still written in C. The window we are using, the major part of this window is still written in C language. Similarly, I told you, Unix is Unix was uh, the main motive to develop C was Unix operating system. So Unix also written in C. C is used in microcomputers used in consumer devices. C is used in microcomputers like nowadays every consumer device devices are the smart devices. All these smart devices need some program so that uh, hardware should work properly so C is used the version of C is used we call it embedded C you might have heard the name embedded C embedded C is used so that it can be embedded in such hardware like refrigerators, ACs and they can work properly to learn more advanced languages like Java C is most if you have to learn more advanced languages like Java, C sharp, F sharp so the language C language is must because it is the base of all languages and it is very simple language Steps in learning C language in, in uh, steps in learning English language and steps in learning C language. If you have to learn English, first of all you will learn alphabets. Then from the alphabets you will form the words. From the words you will find form the sentences. From the sentences you will form the paragraphs. Similarly in English, uh, in C language, first of all we will use we will learn alphabets, digits, and special symbols. Here only alphabets are used. Here all the three are used. Alphabets, digits. 0 to 9 special symbols plus minus underscore dollar all these special symbols are used from these special symbols we form constants variables and keywords we will discuss all these things in detail in the coming videos and from these things these we form the instructions and from instructions we form the program so what is the program Com program is the collection of instructions similarly paragraph is the collection of sentences a paragraph is only meaningful if it's, if it, its sentences are in particular order Similarly, the program is only useful if its instructions are in particular order. So these are the steps, in, uh, uh, or you can say that these are similarities between, between English and C language. Next is the compiler and interpreters. So what are the compilers and interpreters? We know that computer only understands zeros and ones, but in C language we will be, we will be using alphabets like A. B, C, and all these things, and special symbols like dollar. So, computer will not understand these things. Computer will not only understand zeros and ones. So, we need to convert these alphabet, these things into into binary form. This, this is known as binary. Zero and one is known as binary form. We need to con we need a conversion from this form to this form. For the conversion, two softwares can be used. These are the compilers and the interpreter. 
both do the same task in different way we will see the difference how this work compiler converts the whole program in equivalent machine language in one go what this means suppose you have a having you are having a program this is the program and what compiler will do it will convert this program into this machine code or uh, uh, in binary code in one go in one step in one step only all the program will be converted but interpreter will do this conversion line by line it will first convert this line second line third line next line and so on so compiler uh, compiler will take less time and interpreter will take more time because compiler is doing all the task in one step but interpreter is, it is doing one by one if there is any error in the program suppose there is error in this line what compiler and suppose there are the two errors one error is in this line and other error is error is this line what compiler will do as it will read the pro all program in one step so it will give us both errors this error also this error error also but interpreter reads the program line by line it will stuck at this line until till we uh, we sort out the errors it will know it will not move forward first solve this error then only it will move next and then it, it will find this error converts the whole program in equivalent machine language in one go less time during compilation converts the program line by line interpreter more time during uh, conversion next is intermediate file is made what is the intermediate file after compiling after converting the after converting this program into much into binary form what compiler do is compiler will save this file compiler will save this code into some file which is known as a intermediate file and what is the usage of this intermediate file for the next step like for first for first time you need this conversion but for the next uh, for the second time now you are having this converted file so you need not to do this step you will directly run the program from this step so the time will be saved but in the interpreter it will not save this 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 code will not be saved every time you you have to run the program you have to do this all conversion so more time will be taken by the interpreter these three these points are the benefits of the compiler but the last point is drawback of the compiler more running time and less running time compiler is a heavy program and interpreter is a lightweight program we know heavy heavy programs take much more time to execute and lighter programs take less time to execute after this step we have to run the program you have got the converted file and after this after this you have to actually run the program but if you are running this the till till here compiler is fast but after this step interpreter is fast the re reason is now you have got the binary file to run the binary file interpreter will take less time as interpreter is a lightweight program but compiler being a heavy program it will take more time so more term, uh, more running time is taken by the compiler and less running time is taken by the interpreter so interpreter is is better in running the programs but compiler is not better in running the programs c is a compiled language c use only c use only compiler here also and in next step also but some languages are both are uh, uses the both because they take the benefits of the compiler and interpreter they combine the both like java java use both compiler and interpreter but here but c will only use uh, c will only use compiler some more things we will discuss here there are the three three types of languages high level language low level and middle level languages what are the high level languages these are user friendly easily understandable by user computer details are hidden example cobol fortran pascal ada what are these high level languages as we know like uh, computer works in zeros and one but we we will not able to understand these zeros and one so these zeros and one details are hidden from us how the computer is storing the numbers how actually addition is done how multiplication and subtraction how every operation is performed these details are hidden user don't know any details how computer is actually doing the things that's why this program is known as high level language and it is user friendly user can easily understand this language but opposite to it it is a low level language it is a machine language means this is the machine language if you have to work in this language it is very difficult to work in uh, in this language in fact it is not understandable by the users we can't understand this language but machines or the computers can under easily understand this language 
computer details we are working in zeros and one means computer details are also there which is not user friendly and what is the middle level language middle level language language are features of both high level plus low level language means if you want to work in high level form you're going to work in high level thing if you want to work in low level like if you want to know how the computer is storing the numbers you can work in low level language also it is a user friendly as it contains high level language also example is c language thanks for watching the video you can like our facebook page www.facebook.com slash way to itech you can like subscribe and share our youtube channel do comment if you have any doubt thanks again for watching the video